Okay, at this point, I'm willing to bet that most of you fellows out there have seen this electric spaceship looking human meat transporter, but if you haven't, well, boy, are you in for a treat. Yep, like I know, the whole flying car thing that we were promised as kiddos, well, it just never really happened. But what we have here is close, sort of. I mean, well, at least it looks like it's gonna fly someday. What's up, motorheads, and welcome back to Gearbox Pizza. Today, we got an update and some pretty dang good news for your electron enthusiasts. This fella, well, this is the Aptera, and before you dismiss this art school project, I can assure you, it's real. It's more real than you think it is. And that's what we're sort of talking about today. Aptera just dropped an update, and we're gonna dig in big time, so fire up some jalapeno poppers, grab yourself a tall boy of San Pellegrino, and buckle up, Buttercup, because we're gonna get a little weird with this thing. All right, so before we dig into all the new stuff, here's a little refresher for those of you who may not be on the constant and eternal search for nothing but the hottest news, best takes, and silly EV memes on the internet. Okay, so to get the obvious right out of the way, this fella is 100% electric, duh, but it's also shockingly affordable. Yes, this postmodern teardrop starts at like 28 grand. Yeah, I mean, that's like the cost of a relatively watered down Civic these days. So love that. Love it. Okay, so little tip. If you head over to their website and pretend to drop a reservation, they'll let you configure one. So you can go ahead and just like totally destroy 45 minutes of your day. So it's available in silver, white, or black. But for an extra 1500 you can do some sort of custom wrap. But now on to the exciting stuff. The base battery is good for a very solid 250 miles. But if you're willing to drop some cheddar, check it. How's a thousand mile range sound? And I'm not making this up. I mean, I know I messed around a little bit, but I would not do this to you guys. It is a legitimate 1000 mile range machine. It's gonna cost you though. I mean, almost 20 grand extra to get the big battery, but that still gets you in at like under 50 grand or thereabouts. So talk about your bang for your buck, mega champion of the galaxy here. I know what you're thinking though, man, 250 miles might just, just might not be enough and a thousand miles, I mean, who needs a thousand miles of range? Well, there's two other flavors of battery for you to choose from the slot in between these two. So there's a 400 mile battery and then a 600 mile battery. So see, a little something for everyone. All right, the other very cool thing I have to mention is that you can get this thing with solar panels almost everywhere. And I won't go too far into the details, but it is pretty configurable. And if you happen to live in a place that just showers you with sunshine, Aptera is saying that you should be able to get an extra like 16 miles of range a day just from that giant ball of fire in the sky. So yeah, look, seriously talking here, you may never actually have to plug this thing in. I mean, just think about that for a second. Okay, so last little detail before we move on. This fella is available with all-wheel drive at an extra cost of 2,500 bucks. And what does all-wheel drive and crazy lightweight equal? Yep, it is rapid. It's fast. How fast? Zero to 60 in three and a half seconds. Yep, that's fast. So just recently, Aptera dropped some goodies out there on social media that got us all excited. I mean, these guys have been busy, and I love that. Not only is Aptera on the last phase before it presses that big red production button, they've got a complete and built version with a relatively quote unquote finished interior and exterior. So Aptera has broken down production into four phases called Alpha, Beta, Delta, and you guessed it, Bob. All right, now it's Gamma. The Alpha vehicles were pretty crude design and structural studies held together with like spit tape and good intentions. The Beta vehicles were incomplete demonstrator vehicles to test a whole bunch of different technologies and to sort of prove that this thing can be real. Production candidates for the Gamma phase are just about done and this allows them to iron out the bugs and help make the last minute production decisions. And Gamma, well, those are the ones you can buy. So yeah, we are getting some straight up Gamma love going on and that means we're getting close, boys. Okay, so let's take a look at these photos. Yep, and it's pretty safe to say that Tesla has left their mark on the EV industry as this sort of looks like a cuter Model 3 on the inside, right? I mean, look, big screen right there in the middle, but thank you, Jesus, there's a gauge cluster screen, and oh, thank God. I don't know, say what you will, and I know I'll just sort of get used to it, but come on, Tesla, at least make a factory heads-up display when it comes to the speedometer, at the very least. But I digress, so there's also a yoke, but it's different than Tesla's yoke because this fella is not nearly as extreme and should require much less of a learning curve. And then there's the seats and here's where things start to move away from Tesla. Now, I haven't had a chance to sit in one of these just yet, but just look how happy these turkeys are in these pictures. I mean, look, nobody's smiling that much if your legs are falling asleep, right? 
There's another place where improvements have been made, and that's for us tall guys. Headroom has apparently been vastly improved, so right on. But people have never really had much of an issue fitting in the previous version, but there were issues with parts of the roof being in the driver's field of view, so yeah, look, adjusting these sort of things are exactly what you expect at this point in development. All right, so I got a quick question here. So Aptera looks like they're going to replace the side mirrors with cameras, and obviously there's going to be a couple screens inside to reflect this. All right, look, I know there's several cars in Europe that are already doing this, but this just isn't allowed here in the States. And I'm guessing that because Aptera is technically a three-wheeled auto cycle and not a car that they can get away with these sort of things. But if anybody can, you know, knows or can confirm, just drop a comment, would you? Thank you. Anyway, so what's next? Well, there's plenty of testing to still do. There's gonna be a lot that happens to get from Delta to Gamma, and much of it may be invisible to the consumer. Making one of these work is hard, and making it so you can build thousands with high quality standards at an effective price, well, that's really, really, really hard. But I am personally, I'm pretty optimistic. Yeah, I was originally a bit skeptical on this thing, but I have to admit, they seem to be making all the right moves, and if they can follow through and produce these fellas at the price they're intending, well, I think they're gonna sell a ton, and it might just be a while before they're able to catch up with demand, so get your pre-order in before it's too late.